Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the farm. Today, we're out here ready to plant. We just put herbicide into the tractor there. Let's shut down the Kenworth, shall we? Holy cow! I am very focused on Kenworth. Hold on. Ah, that's better. <laughs> I had my focusing glasses on. <laughs> so we're going to hop in the 8530, and we are going to get planting here today. Let's fire it up, and let's get on out in the field. All right, so the field we're planting is right straight forward here. We're just going to pull forward a little way so we make sure we clear that truck. And I'm going to go ahead and start to unfold the planter here. Uh, we should be clear of everything. The planter we're running is a uh, DB60. A DB60, I do believe. Or maybe it's a 90. I can't remember. And uh, we do have the marker arms on it as well. Very nice planter. It's definitely a little big. She's definitely a little bit bigger than, than what I'm used to, so we're going to have to work with that here. We're going to get ourselves lined up best I can, and we're going to try and plant this appropriately. Now, I said try. <laughs> Doesn't mean we're going to succeed, but we're going to do our best. So, right there we will do. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure the air uh, cedar's on. We're revved up, ready to go on the tractor. Everything's looking good on the monitors in here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down. Ooh, hold on. Let me make sure I'm getting the right controls here. Did I set it up on a different hydraulic than I meant to? Oh, there we go. There we go. I think we got it now. Now all we got to do is pull right on forward and we should plant. Now this tractor does have gps on it as well but that gps is more so just so we can kind of see where we are in the field and our yield and stuff doesn't work too good for anything else so we're just going to keep rolling with the way we are here but we'll get right on up to plant in speed now it is a variable plant rate so that when we slow down it does change its population rate when we speed up it changes its population rate that way we're planting a near consistent uh population of seed i know i said population a lot there but you get what i'm trying to get at we're just gonna pull this right on forward i'm not gonna try and turn it around hold on pick it up there you go so we're gonna try and plant this nice and easy now this could get to be rather difficult of a field um but we will figure it out i'm trying to think of the best like how i would go about harvesting this when it came time for that. And I think now I would want to go this way. So we did kind of a headland pass there, but I think I'm going to run it back this way. And we want to also try and remember to not run over what we've already planted much. And we also want to try and go against the, the soil as well, but sometimes you just cannot quite do that. So we're, we'll just have to work with whatever it is we've got here. I'm trying to back this tra this trailer this planter up nice and easy then drop it down at the line there and pull it forward there we go now we're planting rows this way as you can see we're planting fairly close rows uh to be honest these are pretty close rows definitely not 30 inch or anything like that um i forget forget you know, we can walk out there with a ruler, but I don't really feel like doing that. So I'm just watching the curve of the land here, and I think we're going to go with it right around this way. And things should be planting fine. I'm, I'm looking on my monitor in here, and we're looking fine so far. Now, I could be using my uh, marker arm, but I wanted to get an idea of how I was going to plant this before I broke that down. Uh, and now looking at this, I probably should have just gone ahead and used it, but... It's fine. We can make it work without. We're just not going to be quite as accurate as I'd wish to be um, because we're not using that marker arm. We're getting a little bit of overplant into the grass here, which we could watch. We got to watch, make sure we don't clog, clog up here. Um, now, see, I don't want to go that way because we're going to go up and down hillside. So I th think, I mean, we already kind of, you know, rolling hills, you kind of... Just got to work with what you got. But I know that's a overall sloping. So I think I want to just continue this right on across. And I think we'll just go into the second row right here. So I think we'll just con continue our rows on across. 
That way we're not planting against the soil or against the hill too much or, you know, whatnot. We're actually with the hill, I should say. We're more going against it now is what we want to go with. This is looking good, though. Now we got the terraced land right back here. We are getting a little bit of overplant again. About two rows, two rows overplant. We need to wash that. Again, we do not want to get that all clogged up and stuff. So whatever we do plant in there, it's not going to grow very well because uh, it's going to get a shallow plant. It's going to be compacted, pretty hard soil. There's already a lot of foliage above the seed. It just will not perform near as well as tilled land right back here. So you do need to watch that. But this is going well so far. Now this gets a little dice interesting here. This area, see, we can't really go across here. So, unfortunately, we do have to kind of go the way the soil works. And uh, that would be down. But we're going to turn it up this way. Actually, I should just... Here, we'll just pick it up. That way we end that row. And then we'll... We might get a little cross plant right there. Because I did go ahead and pull forward with the intentions of continuing this way. Um, which is fine. We'll, we'll get that sorted out. But we're going to kind of uh, leave that piece there as we do need to get that headland. So now we'll run back over this way. Oh, dang it. Oh, we took out the fence. That's what I get. That's what I get for not watching. All right. Hold on. We got to see how much damage we just did here. We took out a few posts. That's not good. Yeah, we've got barbed wire all jammed up in here. Let's see anything bent, anything broke. Uh, some barbed wire wrapped around the bearings there. Seed boxes are fine. Looks like the frame took the grunt of it. Hose oh, systems seem fine. Yeah, the frame definitely took the grunt of it. This marker arm here. This area is all bent up. Oh, we got a couple broken U brackets here. All right. Nothing too terrible. The frame took uh, a good majority of the impact there. We are going to have to fix this fence at some point. But uh, <sighs> the planter is more important right now. All right. Um, I don't have a service truck. But I can go into town and pick up some parts. Because I know I don't have any parts for that. Let's go and shut it off. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's lower that as well. I'm just going to release the hydraulic pressure. There we go. Set that down in the soil. Okay, we're going to have to run into town real quick. We're going to have to get a few parts and a couple of U-brackets there. And and uh, I don't think anything back here is too messed up. Doesn't look like. Might, uh, might get some extra parts for this as well, just in case. Um, but we're going to go and we're going to go get those parts and then get this fixed. So, <sighs> lovely. Now I got to... Uh, do I walk to the semi? Do I... Yeah, uh, I just walk all the way back to the farm. It's really not that far. All right, let's see if tractor supplies got the little U bracket and everything that I need. I don't want to go to John Deere. They're gonna cost me, you know, ten times more because they're gonna make me pay that green paint tax, and I don't feel like paying no green paint tax today. So let's just uh, <laughs> let's just run on in and see what they got here at Tractor Supply. All right, we were able to get what we needed. That's good. We got what we needed. Now we can go and get that fixed up. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. Where can I get for you today? Uh, yeah, can I get a number seven spicy chicken filet? Uh, yeah, sure, number seven spicy chicken filet. Uh, is that gonna be medium or large? Uh, medium will do. Okay, and just fries or work, anything like that, medium fries? Yeah, yeah. Okay, is there anything else I can get for you today? Um, no, I'm good. Alright, your, your total is uh, 747. Please uh, go forward and pay at the next window. Alright, appreciate it. Have a good one. Alright, we got our meal. Now, I always run over the curb when I pull out of here, so I gotta watch. There it is. See, there's a curb that sticks out right there. I knew it. Alright, so I guess step number one, we should get this out of the fence. So let me undo the wiring that's stuck here. And that and everything. And we should be able to clear it past. This post is broken too. So we should be able to clear it past there. So let's pull it forward just a little bit. Let's see if we can just get it out of uh, out of the way. That is not forward. I make that mistake all the time. Right on over here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this other post is broken too anyway. So it's fine if we knock it. 
Come on, planner. Get on over here. Oh, all right. I think we got everything fixed. I think we're good to get back to planting. This trunk, however, is going to be in the problem. It's going to be in my way. So let's, uh, let's get this thing out of here. It sounds so good when it starts up, doesn't it? It sounds so good. So, so good. Okay. We're just going to pull it right on up over here. And uh, we'll park it in kind of the entrance way right here. And that'll do. Let's go ahead and shut it off. Let's run back over to the tractor and let's get back to planting, shall we? I know it looks like I'm doing this with no plan. It looks like I'm a man without a plan, but everything is methodical in my thought process. Okay, so we are working through this. I'm trying to plant in a way that makes my rows the easiest to do when harvesting while also keeping in mind the contour of the land. And let me tell you, that can be mighty difficult sometimes because sometimes the contour of the land does not match the way it's easiest to harvest. Like right now, I shouldn't be planting this going down the hill like this, especially right here at the bottom part. But what am I to do? It's the only way I can fit. So, and it's the, it's the best way to harvest it really. But now we can go across the bottom side just like this and this is what's ideal we get op optimum soil uh uh erosion prevention so soil preservation and uh it's easy to harvest because we have a lot of room we're just continuing along the rows nice and easy um this is this is the better way to, for us to go about this although you do have to be careful in these hills sometimes where you get so, so full with the combine you got to be careful especially like terraces and and things like that. You gotta be careful how you turn and, and position yourself. If, especially if you don't have duels or something. But we're making duel with what we got. That field there, hmm, I forget if I had the guy put nitrogen down. I'll have to check in my receipts. We'll run it back this way, nice and easy. There we go. Now we're going against it just a little bit again. You see that goes downhill towards that way, just a tiny, tiny bit not enough to be too worried about it we should be fine now squeeze this on in over here uh some of these areas they're just they're such a strange design like that i feel like i should just cut that little lip off like why sh why plant that every year you know what it's just it just makes life more difficult when it comes time to harvest and it really doesn't add much to the field I don't think I should plant it. I think we'll just cut that off from the field design. We'll let that be in grass. You got to think of a way that's efficient and easy and everything. I just wasn't seeing it with that. But there you go. Now, we did go against just a little bit right there again, but we're doing the best we can with the cards we've been dealt. So we're trying. We're trying our best. Now we'll run this back this way, and that middle piece isn't going to get planted. I should not have chose to go the outside route right here, but we'll make do. There we go. Let's get that half side shut off. And let's enable it again now. There we go. This takes a lot of thought process, a lot of focusing. We're going to be going down against it just here again, but there's not much I can do there. So we'll, we'll, go, we'll work with it. Oh, easy. All right. Crank it to the right. There we go. It's a little tight of a turn there, but we'll make do with it. And we are going against soil again or with, or with the hill again, unfortunately. There's not a whole lot I could do right here. Actually, I could. I could stop this row right here and we can go back and forth because that's where it steepens up or I'm more worried about it. It's relatively fat, flat right there. Um, so we could work our crossways right here. I think we will. I think we will. I think that's just going to be easier on everybody if we do that. Okay. I may have cut myself off from the other side over there, which is going to prove to be a problem. I can't forget about places over there. Um, and let me just finish this front and then we'll work our way over there. So let's see here. You see that kind of slopes both ways. 
So the best way would be go diagonal across tree to fence. You see what I'm saying here? But that's just inefficient when it comes time to harvest. So we've just got to work with what we've got. So yeah, we're just going to work it back and forth this way. Nice and easy. Did you guys get the idea? We're just going to keep focusing on how we're planting this field. We're going to try and plant it to the best of our ability with the, with the contour of the land and everything. Um, and with harvest in mind and, and all that good stuff. And that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you get a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more, then let me know by hitting that like button down below. Let me know what videos you want to see in the future. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all later.